Hi, I'm Paul Berry. Welcome to Media Bites. And let's go to London for some breaking royal news. Who do you uh, see? The Queen. Yeah. Herself. Yeah, lovely. Just wave at us. Uh, Andrew as well. Yeah. Prince Andrew. Harry. See Harry. Another one saw Diana in a convertible. And she waved at me at the lights by Paddington on Bishopsbridge Road. Give me a thumbs up with a baseball cap on and waved at me. Cabbies who once saw royalty. I've heard they've got a TV series planned. And if that doesn't excite you, how about this from the Today Show, live from London? The Queen will be remembered for many things, including her overwhelming love for corgis. And guess what? Sometimes they misbehaved. Mm. Now, where is this going, I hear you ask? <laughs> and the man who was called in when they did was corgi specialist Dr Roger Mumford. Doctor, good morning to you. And you'll never believe what happened next. He'd make a chemical attack on Carl, I think, at this moment. Yes, folks, Georgie the Corgi farted on Carl. And who else is in London for the Queen's funeral? Just about everyone. The world's broadcasters are broadcasting into their home countries 24 hours a day. Yes, Laura is there for Sky with Peter Stefanovic, Peter Credlin and Paul Murray. Nines, Carl and Ali are joined by half a dozen journalists plus producers, while Nat and Koshi are in London with Seven's Top Gun reporters, or as Angela Cox dubbed it, the best royal team on television. While Ten's team includes several news reporters, along with Lisa Wilkinson, Jennifer Kite, Angela Bishop and Sandra Sully. Rest in peace, QE2. I love you. And uh, what about the ABC, I hear you ask? I'm Michael Rowland in London. The ABC is not light on either, with 14 news reporters and a radio team of six. And all over London, they're quizzing people waiting in line to pay their respects to Her Majesty. And the people from Australia, they asked us, another news crew, do we need anything? French TV crew, do we need anything? Everybody's just been incredibly kind and generous. Thank you very much, Anne, and all the best. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, thank you so much. I think it's some kind of noodle. Definitely noodles. And um, how's the new king going? Having a spot of bother with the pen. Hmm, can't see the queen doing that. Um, but when he was a prince, Charles was not so popular. Pompous, <laughs> privileged peanuts. That man will be our next head of state. Yeah. Can oh, you, thank you. Can, can you believe that? But now he is top of the pops, with the media showering him in praise and love and calling him the king of hearts. And even Andrew Bolt, a convert. The minute he became king, it's like that activist Prince Charles is gone. And this new king, King Charles, he's a conservative. Yes, no more woke nonsense, now he's king. And um, how about UK gas bag Nigel Farage? Last year, he was warning... If one man can bring down the monarchy, if one man can bring this to an end, it is Prince Charles. And this week? He has been brilliant. Brilliant. That magic royal dust is powerful stuff but it doesn't rub off on Harry and Meghan. A lot of conspiracy theories floating around that Meghan may have been wearing this hidden yes. microphone while she's oh. being greeting the crowd. Yes, yeah. Kylie, don't groan. No, yes. really? Here's the, here's the photo that started the rumours. Um, <laughs> it's just... Either that or a, a pack of Winnie Blues. I don't know this. <laughs> yes, that mystery bump was enough to ignite an insane online theory and another Meghan pile-on with tweets like, is Meghan Markle wearing a mic to use the Queen's death for her Netflix reality show? And... I can't believe she is recording this. Yes, nor can we. But that didn't stop the Daily Mail also running the story and topping it with another which is even more ridiculous. Her Majesty rides off into the sunset. Cloud over London resembles late monarch on a horse. Yes, and they even had the pictures to prove it. See? Well, no, not really. And um, we won't be back with Media Watch on Monday. Guess why? The ABC is running coverage of the Queen's funeral from 5pm for nine hours. Saturation point? You ain't seen nothing yet.